If you need to perform a quick calculation on your MacBook, you don't have to bother opening up the calculator app. Just hit command space for spotlight search and type in your math equation there. You can use spotlight search for so much more like flight tracking, currency conversion, internet search and so on. If you ever need to type in the Apple logo or the Apple icon into the chat box, don't bother searching for one online. Just hit Shift plus Option plus K on your keyboard and you will see the Apple logo appear. Cool, right? Everyone using an Apple operating system will now be able to see the Apple logo in the chat. If you ever need to input any emoji anywhere, just hit Ctrl plus Command plus Space and the emoji keyboard will open up. Here are all the Apple emojis for you to choose from. They're exactly the same as on your iPhone or your iPad. You can also utilize the search bar. If you ever copy and paste text from web pages into any text document, it leaves this weird text style that it tries to save from the web pages. What you might want to do is match the style of the text to your text instead. To do that, just click Command Shift Option V instead of Command V when you are pasting something from the web and it will match your paragraph style. Sometimes when you're writing a paragraph, you might want to make sure that you do not overuse the same word too many times. Instead of googling synonyms of a word, you can just hard press on your trackpad and a list of synonyms will pop up for that word alongside some more useful information. This feature can save you a lot of time of googling things if you're writing something like a long essay. Now this one is pretty well known, but on your Mac you can basically preview any file without opening it by clicking the spacebar or actually force touching on your trackpad. This opens up a preview of any photo, video, PDF and many other file formats so you can quickly glance at the file without actually opening it. On the menu bar you have all these controls for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so on. But what most people don't actually know is that you can get some additional menu items by holding Option and clicking on these icons. These secret options are not used as often and thus hidden by default. Remember Split View? The feature that Apple introduced for the iPad that allows you to run two different or same applications side by side in full screen mode? Well, this feature also exists on macOS. If you want to use two windows side by side, just click and hold on the green maximize icon and you will see the split view menu pop up. Here you can set up to see two different windows side by side. It's really useful for a huge number of scenarios like browsing the web to writing articles and watching videos.